Okay, today's video, which is called Box and Whisker Plots, and it's actually named after a cat whisker, uh, the gentleman who named this original box and whisker plot. Um, it starts on your packets on page 11. And on page 11 here, you see that there's lots of vocabulary. Um, and it talks about measures of variance, variability, or changeability, or how spread out data is. So we're talking about data, we're in statistics. I'm in your 4A packet on page 11. Um, we all know what range means, the highest number minus the lowest. Quartiles, now this is new, think about it. You go to Wegmans or your favorite sub shop and you order a great big sub and you're gonna share it with your family and they ask you, well how would you like us to cut it? And you say, oh can you cut it in quarters, quartiles? So what does the person do? They take a slice through the middle. And then they look at that middle and if they're good at uh, uh, eyeballing, oh, okay, we're going to cut that lower part of the sandwich or the left side of the sandwich in half again. Oh, that's another median. And then we're going to take the upper part of the sandwich or the right side of the sandwich, and if they eyeball it pretty good, people will get equal quarters. Well, think about that big sub sandwich when you're making your box and whisker plot, because what are we going to do? We're going to cut data into four equal parts. How many cuts does it take? Three, but we gotta have crust at the end of our sandwich. So we need to know that highest number and the lowest number. Highest number is the upper extreme. Lowest number is the lower extreme, or the LE. The quartiles, the lower quartile is that lower median. That cut in the lower half of the sandwich to cut it into quarters. The upper quartile, the upper quartile, UQ or uh, quartile three, that's that uppercut that they made in the sandwich. Well, we all know what a median is, so basically you're finding median right in the middle, lower median, and upper median, and then our cross are our highest number and our lowest number. So you need those five things to make this plot. And of course, you need a number line. So interquartile range, hey, we know big range, outside crust of the sandwich, so now we can find interquartile range. Quartile three minus quartile one. So now we know the range of the middleness of our data. And then we'll come back to this mean absolute deviation. We're gonna have fun finding that on our graphing calculators later on. So this is another way of measuring how spread out our data is. So that's page 11, let's go on to page 12. Box and whisker plots, and yes, I'm serious. The gentleman who gave it this name, he had a little cat, and he thought, oh, if the middle of the nose and the little whiskers come out, and he called it box and whisker plots because these look like whiskers. That's what he thought, so he called it a box and whisker plot. But what is it? It's like a submarine sandwich. You gotta know the highest <coughs> number, upper extreme, 85. You gotta know the lowest number, 50, the lower crust. You gotta know the one that's in the middle and you find your median, which is 68. And then you look at that lower left side part of the numbers and uh-oh, we have six of them there. One, two, three, one, two, three. So we have to find the average of 57 and 60, which the lower quartile is 58 and a half. And you can see there's a dot kind of on this number line at 58 and a half. And the upper quartile, which one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, they're the same. So we got an upper quartile of 71. And then you can see here it talks you through, draw a box around those quartiles. So they did that in the lower, the picture right below here. Don't let the box hit the number line though. And then put a vertical line through the median. And then you add your whiskers out to the extremes. Now you're gonna say to yourself, Hey, Mrs. A, this don't look like a submarine sandwich cut into four equal pieces. But it's not, the. it is equal pieces because each part has three numbers in it. Three numbers in this part, three numbers in this part, three numbers in this part. So it's cutting the data into equal pieces. The picture might not look like equal quarters like the submarine sandwich because I'm eating the submarine sandwich. I'm probably eating this piece right here because it looks a little bigger. 
Anyway, okay, so we're gonna make those things and we're gonna look at those things. Here's one that's already made for us. What is the median? Well, they just told me up above you put a slash through that, so I know the median's 30, so you're filling in now. What is the upper and lower extremes? Well, the lower extreme is 20, smallest number crust of the sandwich. Upper extreme is 45, upper crust of the sandwich. What is the interquartile range? Well, I gotta know what the quartiles are. The upper quartile, quartile three. And oh, by the way, my very favorite lunch group is here today. Some of them are doing their homework right now while I'm doing it, cause I'm filling it in, right? Yeah! And quartile one, see quartile three here? Quartile one, well, that's 25. Well, what's 35 minus 25, everybody? 10. Ten. So my interquartile range, that's from here to here. That's what's called the IQR, the interquartile range. The range truly of all of the data is 45 minus 20. The real range, the big range, the big spread is 25. But the interquartile range, 10. It's close together, it's kind of clustered together. So on the next one it says, draw a box and whisker plot for the data in this stem and leaf plot. Hey, all my numbers are already listed in order for me. This is 30, 35, 36, 40, 42, 46, 47, blah, blah, blah. So you read the stem and leaf plot there. And we're going to take those pieces of data, there's 15 of them, and we're going to make them into our box and whisker plot. Well, what did I say we need? We need five things. We need the upper extreme, the lower extreme, the upper quartile, the lower quartile, or sometimes called quartile three and quartile one, and we need the median, the five pieces of the sandwich to make the box. So... Well, upper extreme, that's easy, it's 64. Oh, I don't even have any numbers on my number line. I gotta make my number line first. So, um, you have one there on your paper. I need to get, my range is 64 to 30. So I gotta get 34 numbers on here. And Ella, what was I counting by? Fourth, thank you, okay. Ella did this with me earlier. Okay, 30, I'm gonna skip to, I'm really counting by twos, but I'm only marking every two. Count, it looks like I'm counting by fours, but I'm really not. 38, 42, 46, 50, 54, counting by fours, right guys? 58, 62, 66. Okay, now I can get my upper extreme, which is 64. Put that dot above that number line. Put that dot above that number line. A little bit above, because we don't want our box to sit on our number line. Our lowest number is 30. Our median, uh-oh, what's our median? So we have upper extreme of 64, lower extreme of 30, median 15. So eight is the middle number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Ooh, 51, not one, 51. 51 is my median, so I'm going to put a dot at, that would be 52, so halfway between those would be 51. Um, so since I have an exact median, I don't use it for the upper half or the lower half. One, two, three, four, so five, six, seven. The fourth number in my upper half would be 59, so that's my quartile three or upper quartile. So I'm going to put a dot at about 59. And then my lower quartile would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 40. My lower quartile's 40. Oops, I didn't print it down. So now I'm going to use a ruler or my handy dandy little ruler tool here. And I'm going to make a box around my quartiles, just like that step direction says, put a box around the quartiles, slash your median, and make your whisker. What's the word? Whisker. Whiskers. And there it is, our box and whisker plot. What did we forget? 
Because it's a graph. A title, some labels. What is this information about? I have no idea. Well, let's say it's temperature, maybe. So I'm going to give it. <laughs> doesn't say what it is. Yeah, we should probably have that on the key, but we'll just pretend it's about temperature. So this is temperatures. We're going to give it a title. Temperatures. There we go. Temperature. You always have to have a title on a graph, right? Okay. On to the next page. So page 13 goes on to talk about how to find some more quartiles, some more practice. So I'm going to leave this for your reading and learning pleasure. You can do that on your own, and we'll go over the rest of this in class tomorrow. Anything to say, group? Thank Shout you. out to Miles Boss.